Subscribe our channel for latest news updates. North Korea shows off latest missile and massive show of force before Winter Olympics. North Korea has used a military parade on the eve of the Winter Olympics to show off its latest intercontinental ballistic missile, ICBM, which Pyongyang claims has the range to target the entire mainland United States as well as Britain. In a massive show of force ahead of the iconic sporting event, Kim Jong un's regime rolled out the Hwasong 15 rockets and their mobile launchers alongside some 13,000 troops. The rogue state says the weapon is its most powerful to date, and experts believe the ICBM has a range of around 8,077 miles kilometers. Other hardware on parade on Kim Il-sung Square included tanks, artillery pieces, and anti-aircraft guns. North Korean leader Kim reviewed the display of military might, the first to take place since April last year, from a balcony above the plaza. Footage from today's parade shows at least four of the 18 wheel launchers being driven through Pyongyang. The vehicles are armed with identical black missiles to the one pictured before the regime's test launch in November, though it is impossible to tell whether the weapons are real or just props. Following the launch from the site north of the capital, North Korean state media announced the November test was a success. Experts disagree over whether Kim's regime already has the means to mount a miniaturist nuclear warhead on the missile, though there is a consensus the reclusive state will eventually develop the capacity. The parade came on the same day the North announced it has no intention of meeting with officials from the US during the games at Pyeongchang in South Korea, which open on Friday just 50 miles from the heavily armed border separating the two Koreas. There had been hopes the event would provide a chance for senior figures from the Kim regime to open up a dialogue with U.S. representatives, if only on the sidelines. But the North's KCNA news agency reported a senior foreign ministry official is saying, we have never begged for dialogue with the U.S. nor in the future, too. Explicitly speaking, we have no intention to meet with the U.S. side during the stay in South Korea. Our delegation's visit to South Korea is only to take part in the Olympics and hail its successful holding. However, Seoul has hinted at attempting to forge closer relations with Pyongyang, saying today the South would be open to discussing resuming tours to North Korea's Mount Kungong once the security of tourists was guaranteed and conditions relating to North Korea's nuclear program were met. Tours from the South to the resort were closed after a South Korean tourist was shot by a North Korean.